Roger Lewis speaking from Wiki Ballot, Grub Street Church, uh, etc. I wanted to do a live stream today following up on uh, work I've been doing this week uh, regarding Wikipedia as a conduit for um, information into the mainstream media. So the title of this live stream is, um, if you just bear with me, this is live and I'm just trying to get myself set up here, is uh, Wikipedia Encyclopedia or the new Reuters. Um, so Wikipedia, how it works, who and how many people use it, and what level uh, do they do users interact with Wikipedia? So um, there are hidden layers in Wikipedia, and I'll show you the obvious layers and the less obvious ones, so you can get an idea of uh, uh, how the information can be used. Um, and I've got a logical sequence of uh, um, layers which I'm going to work through. Now this is going to be a, it's going to take as long as it takes. I mean, it might take an hour, it may take an hour and a half, might even take longer. So, um, uh, so the subtitle is the hidden layers of Wikipedia and semantics. Um, and it's a live stream freestyle. Um, so uh, let's just turn off my Skype, go back into the studio here. Um, I have two screens. On my right screen, I've got my um, StreamYard uh, stream. I'm not multiply streaming to different channels. I'm just streaming to the Wikiballot Twitter stroke Periscope um, channel. Periscope apparently is uh, being uh, decommissioned on the 31st of March, so in a few days. Um, and Twitter are going to do something else, and it'll be interesting uh, to see uh, what uh, that actually is. Now, let me just see here. I want to see that this is coming out. Um, I cannot see that I'm actually... coming out live here. Um, says I'm live. Let's see if I can find myself. Periscope. Um. live here we are let's see if this is coming out i don't want to sort of chat for absolutely ages and then find that i'm not uh, i don't want to move to twitter oh that is so annoying how do you get rid of that uh, bum, bum, bum. that is hugely annoying very disruptive um Let's just sign out there. Ah, oh, that's what it is. Okay. And then we need to go there. And here we are. Uh, we are live on Grub Street Journal and not Wiki Ballot. Okay. Right, okay, there's not much of a delay on the stream coming through. Um, I'm just going to retweet that. Um, and... What else are we going to do? Well, that's it. I can hear the sound is going. I know it's streaming live, so this is going to be backed up. Uh, so th thanks for bearing with me. 
it says there's one viewer, which is me, um, which is fine. And right, let's see where are we at. We can now shut down that window. Uh, get rid of that window. And we will now go back to my opening slide. So, good morning. Um, I'll just do the introductions again. Um, this is a live stream entitled uh, Wikipedia Encyclopedia or the New Reuters. Uh, Wikipedia, how it works, who and how many people use it, and uh, what level do they interact with it? Um, at, how do different people use Wikipedia? So that uh, the subtitle is the hidden layers of Wikipedia and semantics. Um, the uh, uh, it's the layering context, etc., of information. So the thing about Wikipedia is that it is a it links between different types of information and allows cross-referencing um, and it will link from outside of Wikipedia into the wider internet and it can actually link within Wikipedia uh, to other articles on Wikipedia but there are also page levels and so you have the article, the talk page, the history pages, the um, and you have the history of the talk pages, the history of the article um, and then Behind that, then as well, there are ways of interrogating the changes that happen over time um, and uh, what's been added, what's been taken out. And that ends up being an incredibly powerful uh, analysis tool, um, not only for the article itself and, and what that ends up saying, but how that's come about um, and gives you different ways of looking at it. Now, um, I'm gonna just read one of my favorite forwards um, ever, uh, the publisher of um, the essay on man by Alexander Pope. This is at the, the beginning of, of the, uh, the, the works and they're published. It's a guy called Henry Morley, who is a famous uh, publisher. Uh, the reader of Pope, as of every author, is advised to begin by letting him say what he has to say in his own manner to an open mind that seeks only to receive the impressions which the writer wishes to convey. First, let the mind and spirit of the writer come into free, full contact with the mind and spirit of the reader, whose attitude at the first reading should be simply receptive. Such reading is the condition precedent to all true judgment of a writer's work, all criticism, that is not so grounded, spreads as fog over a poet's page. Read, reader, for yourself, without once pausing to remember what you have been told to think. Now, obviously, that was when there was the printed word um, and the spoken word and uh, obviously various forms of art or whatever. Um, these days, we have uh, video multimedia so multimedia rich communication including links to other sources of information uh, but particularly video and sound and um, moving pictures and sound in pictures uh, early 20th century cinema stuff and people study um, that sort of the powerful or the power of that sort of communication in real time um, is very apparent in the real-time nature of how articles evolve on fast-moving subjects on Wikipedia. And um, this is something which I'm going to get to in a while when we look at the article, Wikipedia's own article, uh, about um, Wikipedia's reporting of the... Um, coronavirus pandemic, the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic. So we're going to start getting into some of the language of that afterwards. Um, but the uh, to get a full framework 
of um, understanding how powerful Wikipedia is and how uh, underneath the league table, if you will, of Google as a search engine and the alphabet Google suite of apps, um, YouTube, a video platform, obviously, and then Twitter as a social media platform. Um, and then you come, Wikipedia is, 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 is actually number five, uh, number, number four in the English speaking stuff. The, the one above Wikipedia is, is one called Beidou, which is a Chinese um, uh, information portal. And the thing about Wikipedia is that it's open source real time. Um, and so to a certain extent, so it, so can YouTube be, so can Periscope be, for instance. I could be streaming this, for instance, live to Facebook, YouTube, um, LinkedIn, um, but but I'm not. I'm just, just doing this to this channel on uh, through Periscope to uh, uh, my um, Grubsheet Journal Twitter account. Um, so that's the point about um, the the point about uh, Google, YouTube, and Twitter is that they are centrally controlled. Um, there is the, the moderation is done mainly by artis artificial intelligence with checking by uh, human beings, um, and it is their house their rules as it were um and so it's kind of in the background how those decisions are made there are various appeal process perhaps that'll be a video for another day uh, but on wikipedia it's open source in real time and it's um everybody is supposed to be equal in wikipedia we're coming to that it turns out that they're actually not um but uh at the first level anyone can edit anything in real time at least for a period of time because there are various um editor privileges and administration privileges which allow blocking reversion the various appeal process and all the rest of it now we'll get to that too um most people that encounter wikipedia and decide oh well oh that's wrong i'd like to change that um will not continue to engage because um uh the the chances are it will be a live moving topic and it will be sensitive and um frankly there is a level of protection which i will prove to you through the course of this video uh which is not in accordance with the open source uh free speech um egalitarian uh wikipedia which jimmy wales will tell you about um and he has a very different view on how that works to say larry sanger who is the co-founder of wikipedia no longer involved but um is uh involved with every pedia or was which is a blockchain encyclopedia based on the eos blockchain um ballotpedia and various others so uh, this week i've done a, a number of um a Wikipedia series of booklets on my Yumpu channel, um, which gets into some of the more deeper elements of this. But for our purposes today, I'm going to look at uh, Wikipedia and its um, own article about its own coverage of um, the, uh, or how it sees its own coverage um of the the uh the, the current pandemic or the, or the pandemic covid 19 sars cov 2 etc now how wikipedia sees itself and a encyclopedia article about itself and about the coverage of something um in many respects that's not encyclopedic is it it shouldn't you know there shouldn't be an article really about that it may be a section of another article um, but the application of the rules um, uh, there's an old 
aphorism, he who has the gold makes the rules. Um, that, that applies to uh, money creation. But but um, that, that's an interesting point. I, I, I might have something else to say to that when we get to that page. Um, so first of all, that's Henry Morley's uh, thing, sort of saying, well, look, there are some complicated issues and there's quite a lot to get through here. So in setting out one stall, that takes a little bit of time. Um, then uh, Pope's essay on man, this is a word cloud uh, which talks about words that are interesting, etc. Now, the way that the collection of links that represents Wikipedia, the collection of words that represents Wikipedia, and the way that um, machine learning or machine reading works, um, words, how they're repeated, how often, and in which sectors, and all the rest of it. Um, if, if you look at, uh, at some of the stuff about how voice recognition works, um, the artificial intelligence is given some instructions um, about what to expect to see in association with other things. Now, these things to us as humans are words, to a computer they're patterns, and the patterns, uh, e each pattern say a word and the different letters are given um, uh, basically a, a string of binary code um, which uh, goes back to the the whole idea of how um, what we read as humans on a screen um, is stored in binary code so a good way of getting into how, say, the letters on a QWERTY keyboard translate themselves from um, the letter on the key to what you press, what happens next. So if, um, if you press the, the K, for instance, that sends a, uh, uh, a point on the, on the keyboard. It doesn't send a K, it sends a, a location of, of where that and, and so it gives a certain pulse which identifies its location and the key um, now when that then gets re-rendered and come uh, comes back out of that and that represents it on your screen um, what the screen does is it puts that K at a coordinate on your ski screen with certain other information about what a K is, how you make a K, what what colour you want the K to be, um, the location you want it to be on the screen, etc. Um, and so it's a whole bunch of instructions about making a K on a screen at a particular point in time, and 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 then to to call back in to recreate where that K needs to go in relation, say, to the word like or usually these things are explained in terms of making a hello hello world message on on, on a on on a screen and um the idea of dealing with um mass uh editing if you like i'm not going to call it censorship at this stage but but um if if you want to have an um a portal of information um say twitter and so you've got those tweets how do you keep an eye on them uh well what what you do is you set a, you write a set of instructions to look for certain words or certain tags now this tag crowd here um, is, um, you know, if they have a hash on the front of them, they would be good for seeing if you've got a hashtag on Twitter. And that's how things like what, what's trending on Twitter works. It's a set of instructions to interrogate that information. Now, I'm going to show you 
uh, some of the things later on on the Wikipedia um, the, the Wikipedia project page as opposed to the Wikipedia article about its coverage of the um, SARS-CoV-2 pandemic. Um, so the these are layers of information of how this works or how you can get out or see what other information supports um, a particular claim, a truth claim, a news claim, a fake news claim. Um, and uh, word clouds, tags, um, what makes up a word in computer code and then how you uh figure out well what does that mean to a human because what it means to a human is not what you know it doesn't mean anything to a computer um the computer is just looking for patterns that some human has told it to look for um people will tell you that uh in machine learning algorithms or whatever the the the, the computer will start making its own uh patterns or finding its own patterns um, but the starting conditions the initial instructions are really key to where that ends up um, uh, I, I don't want to get too much into all the maths of it because it 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 it, 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 it takes a little well, it takes quite a long time to to get your head around it but um, the these patterns they call them sheep uh, on screensavers are something of the sort and it's to do with uh fuzzy logic it's to do with um uh chaos theory and, and, and things like that um but i'm gonna make a couple of points now which kind of nutshells all of those things i'm talking about so um here we are let's just read this this is out of a wikipedia article on an essay on man and this is the uh the um several stanzas which are in the wikipedia article which are relevant to this this video so here we go know then thyself presume not god to scan the proper study of mankind is man placed on this isthmus of a middle state a being darkly wise and rudely great with too much knowledge for the skeptic side with too much weakness for the Stoic's pride. He hangs between in doubt to act or rest, in doubt to deem himself a god or beast, in doubt his mind or body to prefer, born but to die, unreasoning but to err. Alike in ignorance is reason such, whether he thinks too little or too much chaos of thought and passion all confused still by himself abused and disabused created half to rise and half to fall great lord of all things yet a prey to all sole judge of truth in endless error hurled the glory jest and riddle of the world go wondrous creature mount where science guides go measure earth weigh air and state the tides instruct the planets in what orbs to run correct old time and regulate the sun go soar with plato to the imperial sphere to the first good first perfect and first fair or shred the mazy round his followers trod and quitting sense call imitating god as eastern priests in giddy circles run and turn their heads to imitate the sun go teach eternal wisdom how to rule then drop into thyself and be a fool uh, so that's epistle 2 lines 1 to 30 of uh, Pope's essay on man now then this uh, is the explanation of that passage on the article in Wikipedia on this poem. So, in the above example, Pope's thesis is that man has learnt about nature and God's creation through science. 
Consequently, science has given man power, but having become intoxicated by his power, man has begun to think that he is imitating God. In response, Pope declares the species of man to be a fool, absent of knowledge and plagued by ignorance, in spite of all the progress achieved through science. Pope argues that humanity should make a study of itself and not debase the spiritual essence of the world with earthly science. Since the two are diametrically opposed to one another, man should presume not God to scan. Um, now, this then is the Wikipedia article. So here's the article, okay? Um, essay on man, there's the stanza, I just, or the, the passage, Epistle 2, lines 1 to 30, I read out. And here's that paragraph, right, which I put into that blog with Morley's introduction uh, from the full work. Now, in the talk page, here we are, um, down here at the bottom, um, on some, some, an editor has put in here, completely wrong, and it's disagreeing with the interpretation. And it says, the interpretation expressed in this article is completely wrong. It's optimistic, all right, but only when you correctly define optimism as Leibniz, as this is the best of all possible worlds. I'm not surprised that someone should come up with the reverse because this is a very Whig country, which will not admit of original sin. Such people begin with God and not man. Bolingbroke was a Platonist, as were the 19th century Whigs, with all their coercive measures, and they remain so today. They make it seem man is perfectible, but make the attempt impossible and authoritarian. Whatever is must be right, whatever is must be right, because we're in no position to know otherwise, no matter what such people think. Right, so someone has expressed that opinion, um, and it's, you know, it's a valid opinion. Um, some would say it's uh, the opinion of an Aristotelian over a Platonist uh, thing that, that you know by their own words you would take that from it um but you know it, it's a point that's been made um there's doesn't appear to have been any uh uh attempt on the part of that person to change this back um this is on the poetry portal and the philosophy portal of um of wikipedia and um if we just have a look at the history on the talk page you can click on view history and you can see there have been very very few um revisions so if we go back to the article okay what you can do is you can actually look at, at the history okay now this is the history of the article uh, on which there have been rather more uh edits let's see if there are more than that if it's 500 uh so how long does that go on for let's have a look um yeah, it looks like yeah so the edit the, the, this article was created on the 14th of february 2005 okay and this is how it's been built up from all these different people and each person that's made an effort uh, has their editor's name or some of them will be by um uh people that haven't signed in or don't have an account and so these here are called ip addresses which is the general sort of location of where someone that's making an F edit that's uh, the ip location is where the information they're putting in enters the the internet at so it's a call it a telephone exchange um so that's that now on these uh view history pages there are things up here um find edition removal find edits by user uh find page statistics and page views and fix dead links all right now page views i was quite impressed by this uh th this actually the page the number of page views on this the all-time page views it only goes back to 2015 so the first 10 years of it we don't know anything about um 1st of July 2015 to today, there have been 437,000 page views. Now that's 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 a very respectable numbers of, of number of, 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 of pages. I mean, the SEO man is probably Pope's most most well known work. 
Um, uh, but still, I, I, when I saw that number, I was I was pleasantly surprised. Um, but uh, anyway, so and that information and how that's built up allows one to build up a picture about this particular subject and analyze um, how uh, how that all hangs together. Now, just at this juncture, I'm going to show you something which is on my blog, um, which is this one. Um, this is another blog I did. Um, uh, when's this? 10th of December. Um, and it's it's a passage from G.K. Chesterton's um, uh, book, The Utopia of Usurers. And he mentions this picture here, which is an advert. It's a famous painting that was used in an advertisement for Pears Soap. Um, and uh, I'm not going to read this whole passage. It is worth reading. It's worth reading the whole book. Um, but what I'm going to do is um, I'm not going to make that point. What I'm going to do here, if I pump, put in here drunks and lampposts, OK. And that will come up here. Drunks and lampposts. This is a post I did yesterday. Um, and it's a pun on I was saying about the fourth pillar of the estate, uh, which I my claim is in, in, in Wikipedia being more a Reuters than an encyclopedia in some circumstances. Um, uh, it is, is, is the joke that I was making there. Uh, but um, if we can just where are we uh i just want to get down to right these are twitter maps which show linkages between twitter accounts subjects and all the rest of it so this is the semantic information which you can extract like i was explaining about how computer code works with you know, making a letter appear on a screen from pushing a tap, uh, 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 the dashboard. This little bit of code here, um, this is showing how you want, uh, uh, how, this is, uh, 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 this guy's channel here, John Swain. John Swain is uh, um, a computer programmer um, and, uh, this work that he did is is very good. The reason I found his work it is from the drunks and lampos po uh, uh, post, which I'm going to show you in a minute, because that's to do with Twitter. Drunks and lampos is to do with Wikipedia, but they do the same thing. So it's this one here, right? Drunks and lampposts. Okay, um, and so I'm going to open. This is in the web archive. So this thing, the internet is forever, not just for Christmas. Sometimes the web archive, there are archive things that do get um, do get erased. That happens on Wikipedia too, and I will um, I'll I'll get to that. Um, but uh, these are the layers of the internet that, um, unless you're a computer nerd like me, you 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 may not know about them. Um, so, right, drunks and lampposts. Now, this. Um, uses something called Gephi, uh, which is a um, applied in using graph technology to um, extract information. And this is the philosophy portal on uh, Wikipedia. OK, so and graphing the history of philosophy now um and it looks at the, and this is talking about influences listed in the article the the school of philosophy that someone belongs to um which other schools it's been influenced by and who it's influenced and then they provide up these these they're like heat maps um and it you know it it, 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 it you you can make uh inductions as to how influential someone is 
by how many links they have to other things. So this is in terms of citations um, within Wikipedia itself. Twitter is in terms of linkages between in, in John Swain's work. Um, and uh, so drunks and lampposts, this, this applies to how you do it with, with Twitter. And there are lots of things that flow from that. Um, I had an idea, uh, which I discussed with a programmer friend of mine, to actually, uh, it occurred to me that you could make an educational game based on locations in the same way that kids hunt for Pokemons and stuff like that. You could actually use this semantic information in the back end of Wikipedia to almost, you know, like these paddles you get at museums, which tells you about different entries or, or, or exhibits at the museum. You could do one of those in real time references in wikipedia as you go around and instead of playing catching pokemons you, you could more or less tour anywhere based on your coordinates and uh, you know you could get a guided tour of a city for instance and, and with uh, text to voice all the rest of it um you know you you, you uh, but i digress so drunks and lampposts and and, and the way that information is structured and, and so some of the conclusions that you can can draw so before we go into all of that the next part of this talk now is what i'm going to do is actually read the swedish article on covid uh 19 so uh right where are we now um and it's this one here right now this one here you can see up here it says SV Wikipedia. So this is Swedish Wikipedia and it auto translates to English. Okay. And so this is the coronavirus outbreak 2020 2021 in Sweden. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure I'm getting into the right place here. Okay. Right. So the first paragraph is called the lead and it is a very short paragraph. The coronavirus outbreak 2020-2021 in Sweden is part of the ongoing pandemic of the disease COVID-19, a disease caused by the virus SARS-CoV-2. The symptoms of COVID-19 may vary from person to person. The symptoms can often be difficult to distinguish from the common cold, flu or allergy. However, some suffer only from mild cold system symptoms with runny nose, whilst others develop a flu-like symptoms with headache, fatigue, fever, sore throat, and myalgia, in more severe cases with pneumonia. So, um, and then you, you can read this yourself. I mean, it, it, this is uh, on Swedish uh, Wikipedia, that is the lead. And um, if we just view the history now, What surprised me about this has actually quite a low number of pages. Now it's Swedish insight, it's Swedish Wikipedia, and it uses a different script for the number of page views. Um, you've got different options in, in, in what you can analyze on that subsection of Wikipedia. But this is close enough for government work, number of page views. Um, it, it does look like it goes to the same, the same, uh, the same thing. And I like to look at all time. Um, and obviously this came along in December. So you can see 22,427 page views on the Swedish entry um, in Swedish of this pandemic. And you can see uh, most of those, oh, is it, when, when was this article created? Let's, let's just have a look at that, shall we? Um, I don't want to mislead anyone here. Right, article. Let's have a butchers. Uh, 500. Oldest 500 is what we're waiting for now. So, let's have a look here. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see. 
you can see it's all reverted to Swedish because it's only the article that automatically. Oh no, there we go. Um, so this was created on April the 5th, 2020. Um, that's when this page was created. And so since then, just go here. Right, so it's created on April the 5th. So let's just say, let's get that in here. We'll just go back just to get an accurate a better graphing of it go there hey blah 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 custom range apply uh. <clears throat> april the first I'm going to do that April the first. Right, this is to the end of. Is it going to let me do that? Let's just say the last year then. Oh, good God, what's going on here? Well, most of these views have been. Well, wow, that that is remarkable. That really is remarkable. Let's just have a look, see what's happening here. Um, so most of you seem to be in December. So let's just go to December 2020. December 2020. Uh, this seems to be December, and uh, let's just go here, just change that to 31st of December, not giving it to me is it it's not liking that uh first of the 12 31st of the 12 2020 that is absolutely amazing so sorry about this guys i'm getting a little bit carried away yeah okay Last year, this year, aha, that's better. All right, so and most of them have been this year, and you can see how they've spread out. Um, but that's not a lot of views on this subject. Uh, um, if we look at the English version, um, which we'll just get to. SARS-CoV-2, right, so this is the technical um, SARS-CoV-2 on the Swedish page. And again, uh, the Swedes are pretty pragmatic and, and, and uh, very matter of fact, no nonsense. So, um, right, SARS-CoV-2, severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, which roughly means severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2. Um, is a human and various animal species infectious coronavirus that causes COVID-19 disease and which has caused the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, first discovered in late 2019 in Wuhan, China, has previously been called the 2019 cor novel coronavirus, 2019 
dash n cov and formerly also the wuhan coronavirus sars cov 2 causes respiratory infections that in most cases lead to milder disease symptoms that go away within two weeks but sometimes especially in certain groups such as the elderly and people with chronic illness it can lead to death the origin i.e from which host animal the virus originates is still unknown um, and then it goes into some of the technicalities and there's a very fetching uh video rendering here which shows how uh the virus enters into um uh into a cell and causes an infection so th that's you know that that's a computer rendered animation so that's uh computer generated imaging it's it's uh Whereas these are um, images made up uh, from electron microscopes. Um, now, electron telescopes and electron microscopes. Now, this is an interesting thing. Um, when you see those beautiful pictures taken by the Hubble Space Telescope, what they are are artists' impressions of the data that comes in, what it might look at, like the colors that are put in there. It's an interpretation of the thing and not the thing in itself. Um, and that's actually, uh, in terms of electron microscopy, um, in terms of uh, quantum mechanics and um, uh, what's known as the statistical turn in physics, that's actually a very real point, you know. Um, uh, which get back to basic philosophical questions um, such as is there beauty without observers um, which is very apt when you're talking about electron microscopy and also electron telescopes uh, which uh, are similar things so anyway that's that that that's that now what i wanted to do then was just go to the uh, this is the English encyclopedia. So this is n e n dot Wikipedia rather than s v dot Wikipedia, and then this is the COVID nineteen pandemic in Sweden. Now, if you understand Swedish or speak a bit of Swedish as I do, uh, it won't surprise you that the lead in the Swedish article is rather shorter than the lead in the. Uh, in the English one, and I've pointed this out regarding Wikipedia and the consensus protocols. The Swedes do consensus by default. It's a consensus-based um, collective society, really. Um, whereas there's a more the individualism, which is in the culture of the UK and particularly the US um consensus isn't it means something completely different and a short lead and less arguing um is a cultural thing with the swedes whereas um for native english speakers with a cultural um more based in common law as opposed to say the more european um ideas of of, of roman law lead to a different way of reaching consensus and what you then say so this is the english article about what's happened in sweden so you can see it's a much longer lead um, and then if you go to the talk page uh, lots of these badges and all the rest of it um, and there's quite a long discussion about all these these graphs now i was involved in in this that there's a there was a way of graphing it which i actually preferred which which made it much easier to understand uh this this way here um this is intensive care hospitalizations up to about march in sweden this year you can see the numbers are pretty low um and in the article itself okay um if we get down I mean, you can read these articles in your own time. I'm, I'm, I'm not cherry picking here. I'm making points about uh, uh, 
which I'll sum up at the end. Um, so, uh, so effects of it, all the rest of it. And if you don't know, Sweden has handled this whole thing rather different to everywhere else. Now, cases per day, you can see cases per day is still going up. That's the first graph. Total hospital, hospital hospitalizations. Okay, total ICO uh, uh, hospitalizations. That's a cumulative figure. Hospitalizations per day. Now, um, you can see that it's like Twin Peaks here. Um, right? And obviously, they're down now. Cumulative deaths. Um and then deaths per day. You see, deaths per day is is getting down to the vanishingly small, and you've got these two two bumps, right? One, uh, which is would be a, a very late flu season, and one which coincides with the flu season, um, and then deaths in nursing homes, so on and so forth. Um, all now, this is the question: all all cause daily death all causes per standardized month, okay, per 100,000 inhabitants. Now, this is interesting, this graph here, in that in 2020, at the height of the pandemic, in April, you can see there were uh, excess deaths in 2020, excess deaths in 2020, excess death in 2020, um, and then in january okay they haven't done the other months because there haven't been any um and compares it to these other years okay um and you can see that for january february march july august december october november not december uh but i think in january february month, whatever there haven't been any excess mortality for all figures in in sweden now what's interesting then about that is uh this paper here which i found just from that little um observation there uh, this is actually a, a a paper published um mortality in norway and sweden before and after the covid 19 outbreak a cohort study okay so these are the authors, uh, Frederick Jewell, medical officer, Henrietta Giordal, uh, Oren Olsvik. Um, so, you know, you can see that these are, I'm not sure which institution they're from. Um, and it, it's, right, okay, oh, right, Oslo University Hospital, Arctic University of Norway. Uh, yeah, someone from Barmland. So it says who, who's done this paper. Um, and if you look at the abstract of this paper, well, the results, it says, right, in Norway, Norway, mortality rates were stable during the first 12 month period, 2015 to 2016, 216, 17 to 17, 18. Okay, with 14.8 to 15.1 deaths per 100,000, slightly lower in the two most recent periods, including during epidemic period, 18, 19, 19, 20. So that's 14.5 per 100,000. In Sweden, all cause mortality was stable during the first uh, three 12 month periods. So that's 2015, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, with a mortality rate of 17.2 to 17.5 per 100,000. So the mortality rate in Sweden is higher generally than, than 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 in norway um and uh, but then it says that the mortality rate which is usually higher than norway was actually lower in sweden in 2018 2019 okay so it's down to 16.2 which was approaching you know norwegian levels then covid 19 associated mortality rates were 0.2 per hundred thousand um uh no 95 percent uh correction for, uh, that, that's the error um band uh 0 0.1 to 0 0.4 uh in in norway it was 2.9 um uh 
Uh, no, 2.9 in Sweden and 0.2 in, in, in Norway. Uh, right. The increase in mortality was confined to individuals in 70 years or older. Now, those are three key in, important bits of information. But then when they come to the conclusion, what they say is um, uh, the observed increase in all case m cause mortality during COVID-19 was partly due to a lower than expected mortality preceding the epidemic. And the observed excess mortality was followed by a lower than expected mortality after the first COVID-19 wave. This may suggest mortality displacement. Right. So, I mean, that is an interesting paper. I, I'm, I'll put all these links into... Um, I'll, I'll make a Yumpu booklet. I'll tell you what that is in a minute, because what I'll do is just uh, I'll explain my workflow in 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 a se in a second. So anyway, that 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 that's that, um, and that's the COVID nineteen um, English Wikipedia COVID nineteen. Okay, uh, and where's the Swedish one? And then that is the English right. So that's the Swedish one. Right, COVID-19 pandemic in Sweden. Uh, right, this is the English uh, for COVID-19 in general, okay? Or co coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19, okay? Um, and then, so this compares to the this is the this is the Swedish article on the same thing. So there you've got a short lead. OK, and here um, on the English thing, you've got actually quite a long lead. OK, um, and it says quite different things and you can compare those. Um, and then in terms of view, view history. Let's just have a look at that one. Um, page views. Let's just say all time. There you go. Okay, so you can see the seventh of February, twenty twenty. So, uh, what we're going to do? Let's just it, one point nine million page views. Um, let's see how they're distributed, shall we? Uh, boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. We want to go from the first of the second two thousand and twenty to now apply. So I do it. Yeah, okay. So right, so this is views of this page. Um and uh you can see there'd be 1.9 million views of uh, that particular page, uh, which is the technical page about the disease itself, as opposed to the article about the disease. So, right, you might want to read that. Um, and then the next thing then I want to do is... Uh, Here we are. Is it this one? It is this one. Right. So this window here shows um, English Wikipedia COVID-19 pandemic. So this is the the big one. You know, this is this is this is the flagship article of Wikipedia. OK. Um, for COVID-19. OK. Um, and uh if we say you, you can see it's a it's a relatively short lead um there'd be a lot of work has gone into that um the talk section let's have a look at that um there's a notice for people who, to let them know how to contribute and what have you um that's actually quite a short Right, it's pinned not automatically. Eh? Now, 
transclusion problem. Right, current consensus. Now, this this is very interesting. Going back to what I made about consensus is earlier. So, this is the consensus on what they should say about it. Okay, the, the people contributing to the page. Now, that's that's an important. That's that's not a consensus of all scientists, all journalists, all commentators, all politicians, all citizens, all um, specialists in the field, or more generalist people. That that this is the current consensus as applies to people who have looked at this page and sought to contribute to it. Okay, um, and uh, the current consensus. So let, let's just get. So what's interesting on this page? Okay, so on talk, this is another interesting thing about history. If we go view history, okay, um, and you can actually say right, okay. Uh, page statistics, okay? This is different to page views. So on page statistics, these will come up now in a minute. Right, so pie charts, beautiful. So here we are. Um, general statistics, it will say, right, top 10 by edits okay so doc james has done 16.8 percent of the edits okay and gerald waldo Lewis has done 224 which is 4.9 percent of the edits okay by text added so that's actually just by you know involvement as it were um and this is actually by the num the, the amount of actual text added okay um so sdkb for instance has added 459760 um pieces of text which is 23% so this person has written 23% of all the words um appear, uh, appearing is this on the article or on the talk page this is on the article okay um doc james uh is coming in at number two on on the the amount of text 14.9 percent whereas of course he's 16.8 percent by edits so they're reversing each other uh right have we got anyone in this list that isn't in this list um well anyway you can you, you can draw your own conclusions from from that but but you can see there these are the people that form that consensus okay now if we just go back here now back 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 right now if we go to the article itself okay here's the article please right so this is the article this is the flagship article of wikipedia and i'll prove that to you in a second that they consider it so jimmy wales considers it so um view history here we go so these are the edit histories um and if we say page views now okay uh and we want the all time okay 21 million 150,807 page views okay uh the article was created you can see at the beginning is seventh of the third ish so let's just change that here to first of the second 2019 and spread those out a bit more custom range apply uh wow look at that it's um 
All right, fourteenth of the third. Let's just go to the fourteenth of the third there, just to get an idea. Right, one four fourteenth of the third. Apply. Okay. Now, good lord, look at this. It's quite amazing. Okay, fourteenth of the third. So we need to go to the fifth, the fifth for for the bulk of it. So twenty second of the third. To, let's just put that on a logarithmic scale. Okay, so you can see there are three steps here. So around the 11th of March, things really started taking off here. And then again, by the 5th of May, uh, this article started dominating the uh, number people coming to Wikipedia by far and away. The most of them that came to it came to this. Now, at this stage, I'm just going to do something else. Okay, if we go here okay um and if we put in vernon coleman right uh vernon coleman wikipedia we want here he is right oh he's on vetpedia we'll, we'll open that but we are wikipedia right right so we can see in the top left hand side here english wikipedia Here's Vernon, and it says, right, Vernon Coleman is an English conspiracy theorist, anti-vaccination activist, AIDS denialist, blogger and novelist who writes on topics related to human health, politics and animal issues. Coleman's medical claims have been widely discredited and described as pseudoscientific. He was formerly a newspaper columnist and general practitioner. OK, so let me just show you something here. View history. If we go to the page views here, okay. All right. And then if we go to the all time page views, okay. Okay. So we see a similar thing here. Um, oh, this article has existed for a long time, but uh, this date here, between the 7th of March and the 5th of April, okay? I think it was the, uh, Dr. Coleman released a video which was um, critical of the British government's handling of corona, of, of the coronavirus e epidemic, of various policies related to that. Um, and uh, what happened was the, the views spiked on his page, you see. So there's 519,000 page views here. Okay. Now, uh, if we just change this now to, to 2020. Okay. And we'll just go the first of the first 2020 to now. Okay. Apply that custom range. Okay. So. 479,000 views, okay? Uh, and so now we're narrowing it down. You can see 17th of the third, it began to spike, okay? So if we just put that in there, then we'll put in the 17th of the third. 17th of the third. Here. Apply. So 17th of the third. There you go. There's the first spike. Um, by the 21st of the third, there there were 6,522 views. Then it dropped off, and then it's sort of been, you know, you know if we put it on a logarithmic scale, uh, that will give you some idea of... I mean, that's actually a fairly... There's interest in this article. Okay. Now... If we compare the the timeline now on uh, the Wikipedia article, let's just go back to that. It's this one here. OK, so not that one. This one. OK, no, not that one. Is it this one? Yeah, this is it. Right. So this is the COVID-19 uh, one. 
and the 21 million page views okay now let's just uh we'll take it from the 11th of the third the 11th of the third 2020 apply okay here we go so you can see 11th of the third 17th of the third by the 28th well where are we this 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 here fourth of the fifth so right 11th of the third let's just have a look at something shall we 17th of the third okay we've got a spike here 17th of the third uh let's just take that back to the first of the third apply all right first of the third it just jumps up here on the the jump occurs on the 17th of the third Seventeenth of the third. So on the seventeenth of the third, twenty twenty. Okay, the actual article itself got two hundred and twenty-one views. Okay, whereas Dr. Vernon Coleman on the same day, the seventeenth of the third. Let's just find. There you go, the 17th of the 3rd, Dr. Coleman got 2,478 views. Right. So, now then, what I'm going to do now is if we just go back here, okay, uh, and what we want to do is, on the article, we want to view the history. Right, so this is the history, and we want to get back to the 17th of the third let's have a look uh so if i press that there so what we can do is we go down here and we get march we want the older So this article was created some time ago so um right okay so uh right okay so third of january so, so right where are we um 19th of march 19th of march 26th of february so let's just have a look right now what this is going to show us there is on the 26th of february okay there's some stuff going on here but the lead on the article said this at that point right 26th of february vernon coleman is a former general practitioner and the author of over 100 books in 25 languages including non-fiction works about human health politics critic critic and a cricket rather and, and animal issues and a range of novels his books have appeared on several best that sellers lists including the sunday times life without tranquilizers reached the te top 10 of the sunday times in march 1985 his book body power reached several bestseller lists in the uk one of his novels Mrs. Caddicott's Cabbage War has been turned into a movie with the same name. Coleman is a militant vegetarian anti-vivisectionist. Coleman complains that his campaigning has made him many enemies and he has been regularly attacked by large corporations and their spokesmen. Uh, so on and so forth. Okay. So that's that's that. Now, um, if we go now to Vernon coleman youtube okay dr vernon coleman youtube uh, 
Uh, let's have a look. Deleted video, deleted video. have a look at the videos so sort by most popular nine months ago ten months ago why did YouTube ban my video right okay so here we go now this is going to tell us something so dr. Coleman okay made a video on May the 13th about a video that got banned okay and that video is talking about um we uh, what i want to do first is just go to this one here let's just say oh, Wikipedia. okay uh right this is it okay so 